While I'm slowly heading back to my apartment, I'm not asking for your Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a couple of cozy autumn days at home. I feel really excited for today's video and I hope you guys are as well. So I actually touched upon this a little bit in my last video and <laughs> I've just been so desperate to kind of speak about it that I was like, I'm just gonna do a double upload this weekend because I need to talk to you guys about it. I need to update you <laughs> on everything. So I hope you guys don't mind. I'm also just sitting on my bed. I've been doing work bits on my bed um, and I'm just waiting for Bradley because he's going to come and help me show you guys the boys nursery in a second which I can't wait for so yeah I thought in today's video I could show you guys updates with the nursery to be honest with you <laughs> we only started it a few weeks ago so there hasn't been like a lot to kind of update you on but I do want to show you guys the progress that we've done um, and like painting it and my mum and Bradley like building bits and bobs like that so like the bulk of the furniture is built it's just basically accessorizing. We obviously need to wash their clothes soon. We need to like organize everything, which is my favorite part, like putting things in the right places, which I honestly, I can't wait for. And I just wanted to fill you guys in and update you more. I spoke about this in my last video, actually. Basically, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I feel like I've kind of been holding back a lot throughout my pregnancy, like sharing a lot of things. Like obviously I do share things, but I haven't been, completely honest and spoken to you guys about like my symptoms and how I've been feeling or my first trimester vlog and stuff like that and I've been very much like questioning things because I don't I'm like scared to upset anyone I don't want to upset anyone I know that everyone's journey is different and I know how fortunate I am to be pregnant especially with twins and being completely honest I think it's just scared me because yeah I just I haven't wanted to upset anyone so I've just kind of been like yeah I'm pregnant but like showing you guys like autumn things which I'm still gonna do but I've had quite a few messages recently from people um, like really nice constructive criticism but really lovely messages basically saying look this is your life you vlog every day don't feel like you should like hide things about your pregnancy and stuff like that or speak about how you're feeling because everyone's journey is different everyone has different symptoms and everything like that so I just feel really lucky and me and Brady are going to sit down tomorrow actually and film a Q&A which is going to go live I think next Saturday and that's my first and second trimester vlog like I filmed like some diary clips and stuff throughout my first trimester um, and I thought I could just add in a Q&A at the end just to kind of fill you guys in from me and Bradley. I do also think because we moved house, like a lot happens when you move house. I mean, we've still got loads of stuff to do, like painting and stuff like that. But that obviously took up a lot of time. And then I was like, okay, I need to get like autumn content done. And time just kind of goes. And I'm 26 weeks pregnant with twin boys. And I think receiving those messages and comments basically saying like please show more we want to see more it made me want to and I've wanted to the whole time but I think because I wasn't a mum before I was never pregnant my audience wasn't like any like mum kind of things or like baby stuff so I didn't want to upset anyone because I have had comments as well from people like please don't change your content keep it how it is don't like have it any baby stuff if you do make sure the baby stuff separate so I'm like huh. <laughs> it's just a lot of pressure but I do think there comes a point where I'm like okay this is my life I do want to share it and I'm so excited and I used to watch like loads of baby vlogs and stuff like that before pregnancy and I always used to think I can't wait to film that and I just I feel like I don't want to hold back anymore so of course I'm still doing like my autumn content and uh, my Christmas content and stuff like that but I'm just going to include bits of my pregnancy and also twin stuff and maybe some baby boy hauls and neutral hauls and home stuff and things like that so I hope that's okay it's just hard because obviously this is my life and I think for 26 weeks it's been on my mind and I'm thinking what do I do <laughs> do I just do I just do it separately and there are going to be like obviously dedicated videos to like the nursery tour and stuff like that but I am going to start incorporating it within my content and just showing you guys more and let you guys in because a lot of you messaged me and you were saying that you don't have babies 
but you're interested. And that was really lovely to hear because I thought, oh, okay. To be fair, I was one of those people even before I was pregnant. I used to love watching like pregnancy content and things like that. So I want my content to be as relatable as possible, but also I want to be very open about my pregnancy. I want to speak more about having a twin pregnancy. I mean, to me, it doesn't feel any different because I don't know what a singleton pregnancy feels like but I can speak to you about my symptoms and stuff like that. So I hope that's okay. So in today's video, I thought we could spend a couple of autumnal days together at home, which I'm really excited about. And I also wanted to show you guys the nursery update, which honestly, I cannot wait for. So I'm just waiting for Ruddy to get off a call and then he said he's gonna come and show you guys as well. We've also been really kind of gifted a lot of things. So I thought I could talk through the stuff that we have been really kind of gifted. And also we have a pram from Cybex. It's called the Cybex Gazelle. S. It can be a single or a double and it's been in boxes in the twins room and me and Brady like we just want to open it We are desperate so we thought we could do it today and show you guys one of their prams as well So we can't wait. Also, I <laughs> just realized I wore this set in my last video <laughs> that went live yesterday So soz about that. It's just so comfy <laughs> But I promise you in my next video I'll wear something different. <laughs> I'm just obsessed with it. It's just so comfortable. It's maternity wear. Like it's a loungewear set from H&M. But honestly, you so don't have to be pregnant to wear it because it's like a wrap, um, like top jumper kind of thing. So I love it. But anyway, here is the progress of what we've done with the twins nursery. And then Bradley's gonna come upstairs and we'll show you guys how it's looking now. I'm in my lounge dress set again because I'm obsessed with it, but it's now time to show you all the nursery updates. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> don't fall. <laughs> so excited, I can't stand. Where are you going? I'm going to get, get my buddies. Oh, okay. We matching. <laughs> we matching today. What are we going to show everybody? The nursery. <laughs> <laughs> so we've actually been decorating it over the past, how long would you say now? A few weeks. Yeah. It is, to be honest, I thought I would want it done sooner, but I think because we obviously moved house and like A lot life, of stuff going on, haven't we? Yeah, life's just been busy that we didn't and that freaked me out because I honestly thought that I, it would be done by like the second trimester, yeah. which just didn't happen. we still happen. got a lot of time. We do. We do have another what? nine weeks if but you never know do you yeah. it's like ah. so we're going to show you guys the update of what we've done so far <laughs> but we're so excited so i'll film you and i'll show you ready i feel nervous okay go <laughs> so our room's here and then this is our twins nursery so far yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah, it's all done. So yeah, this is definitely work in progress. I'll link where I got all of the items from in the description box down below. Our furniture, so meaning the two wardrobes, the two cots, and then also the changing units. These are from a brand called Oh Baby, and this is the Evie range. And we've gone for just plain white, um, and it also comes with these gorgeous handles. So I'll show you guys up close on this furniture, kind of when everything is a lot more done and it doesn't look like this, because this is... It, I mean, it's organised mess, isn't it, for us? It is, yeah. We know where everything is. Yeah. We know what needs to be done, but when you look at it, it does look like a load of rubbish. Yeah, it does. <laughs> we've got, like, a lot of Ikea stuff. and It's probably an hour's work. 
Yeah. Putting stuff away. I don't think it would take too long. Out of the way and then we can actually start putting things in place. Yeah, but we've been buying things like little caddies. Like this is a bathroom unit, but my mum was like, this is so good to have to store like extra bits in and there's organisation stuff from Ikea. So I'm going to go through with like all of this with you guys soon. But what we did want to do today <laughs> is something we've been waiting for for so long. And it's to build our baby... <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's to build our twins pram so this was really kind of gifted to us by cybex and this is the gazelle s pram um, and also we've got the cybex new cloud t um car seats i'm so excited <laughs> like we always knew that this is what we wanted so yeah we've gone for all black but yeah let's do a little time lapse of us building it what these got cots too yeah the carry cots too yeah oh, that's good but why that's good they're, they're not gonna good. I mean, they might share one for a little bit, but yeah, so we're going to build it with you guys. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit sound of empty streets yesterday has gone to sleep so all that's left is you and me i can promise you're the only thing i see hold my hand and hear the words i say close your eyes and let us fade away Okay, so we've just built the Cybex Gazelle Ekram. Um, so this is a single, but it can also be turned into a double, which is amazing. And all the like compartments and stuff are within it. So it just makes such a big difference. And these are obviously the carry cots. So we've just gone for all black, but they also have this in white. And it is stunning. But yeah, this is the inside. It's such high quality. We absolutely love it. Um, and then for the car seats, we've gone for the Cybex Cloud T. So these are the new Cybex Cloud car seats. So they've just got different materials. They're a lot more breathable. Um, I love the look of them. They go down to 180 degrees like flat. Um, so it's perfect when we put them in the pram if we're like popping anywhere quickly so yeah we honestly i'm just so happy with them all so i'm going to pop a link to the gazelle s because even if you've just got one baby they have loads of deals so this is obviously like the twin one but if you've just got one baby it's amazing so i'll pop a link to that in the description box down below as well as the cybex cloud t so this is the new one um so yeah it's just a lot more breathable fabric's amazing it's really lovely and cushioned it's just such high quality and i just can't believe our little babies are going to be in these so yeah thank you so much to cybex for kindly sending us these we're so excited the boys have literally been kicking so much throughout all of this um so i think they're just as excited as we are so yeah thank you so much so the rest of the nursery may as well show you guys a little bit of an update in here i've just got loads of different compartments there's nothing in the drawers yet i want to film like a proper organized with me we need to buy loads of nappies and like wipes and stuff like that i picked these up in ikea if you saw my ikea vlog um, like a good few weeks back you would have seen these these are going to go on this side obviously they're going to look <laughs> a lot neater when there's just like nappies and stuff in them just because it's going to be easy to have stuff on top of here as well as in the drawer i think the drawer stuff will be more like bulk of things so like lots of nappies and wipes and stuff like that i've also heard amazing things about this so this is the dream maker by tommy tippy 
and it's the baby sleep aid so it's got loads of different lights loads of like white noise pink noise comforts i mean i don't even know what that is but yeah so many people said this is amazing so let me know if you have any baby essentials that you can pop down below bibs also sent us over dummies which is just so cute they are honestly like the cutest dummies i also picked up these just from tesco's the man ones basically it's hard to know babies isn't it like you don't know how they're going to take to dummies you don't know if they're even going to want them i've heard a lot of things though especially with twins that is such a good thing to have just to help soothe them and like calm them and stuff like that so we're going to try our hardest but i think we're going to buy like some different ones just to see what they like but honestly the bibs ones just look so cute they also sent two muslin swaddles um, over here we've got some prints we've got some Desenio prints and then um how cute is this outfit by the way from h and I showed you guys this in my H&M haul last time and then we've got some other prints from Amazon we just want to kind of work out what ones we want to put up um so yeah there's loads of different animal ones and then these frames are from B&M so this mirror is going up on the wall here it's going to add a lot more light into the room and I think it'll be really nice just for the babies to like see themselves after we like change them and stuff like that so yeah like I said all the furniture is from a lovely brand called Oh Baby sorry about that my battery died <laughs> um but yeah the this is the Eevee set, so it comes in two colours. There's more of like a pinky, peachy kind of nude with wood, um, which I think, to be honest, if we had girls, I probably would have gone for that. I do love it so much, but then I just think white is very classic, and then you can dress it up with a lot of wooden accessories, which is what we're doing. Um, so I'm really happy with it. So yeah, this is the Eevee one, and this turns into a toddler bed, which is so helpful. These are very big cots, <laughs> like they are absolutely massive, which is a good thing. To be honest, the boys will probably want to share for a long time. Um, we're just going to kind of see if they want to. If they want to share, they can share. If they don't, then they don't. <laughs> There's another one here. So it's just good to obviously have that option. We've just been buying loads of little bits and bobs. So we've got some tummy time things. There's actually one over there as well from Amazon Puppers. I saw this in store and then Amazon was selling it for like 15 pounds I think and I think it's usually 22 so I'll pop a link to this down below because yeah it was so much cheaper on Amazon and uh, we've got them some little Christmassy bits obviously with twins they come early we don't we don't know if they're going to be here for Christmas I mean they could be you just it's one of those things they could be here way before Christmas or maybe a little bit after we just we don't know so we just we've got them a couple of Christmassy things just in case which I think is so cute and if not then it's for next Christmas <laughs> so we'll see and this is the caddy that I showed you guys in my last video um which is from H&M I cannot wait to like film videos of me like filling this up and stuff organization videos I love those okay then over here is <laughs> where it looks like a proper mess and um, so this is going to be kind of like the table next to the rocking chair so the rocking chair is going to go here there's actually a lot of room here but um it doesn't look like it <laughs> on the camera but there is so this is going to be kind of like the reading corner so we're going to have the rocking chair here this is going to be like the chill out place we're going to put um that table we've also got a lamp from ikea which is going to go over here so this is going to be like yeah the chill area which i'm really excited about i honestly can't wait to have the rocking chair it's going to be so nice and relaxing so yeah this is going to go here we're not sure if we're going to keep these drawers because we had these in our old house they're kind of spare i don't i think we might sell them because <laughs> i don't think we need them so yeah i think we'll sell these ones and then we need to start putting away like a lot more of their clothes to be honest we need to wash all their clothes um, and just sort it out properly honestly the amount of stuff that we've got that are just too cute i've showed you guys this in a vlog before but if you haven't seen it this is from tesco's how cute is this i cannot wait to like put them in this put them in the pram and go for like a winter's walk oh it's just gonna be so cute but yeah we've got loads of stuff to be honest a lot of the things we get are from tesco's i'd say majority of the stuff and you can tell because these are the tesco hangers um a lot of stuff as well we love next next is just so cute um i also like sainsbury's sainsbury's isn't my favorite i think it's our sainsbury's it's not very good <laughs> but it is really cute and the quality is lovely um matalan i absolutely love how cute is all of this um and we just i want to get loads of plain white baby grows and stuff as well um i also have where is it i have a primark bag here 
that I've been filling with my hospital bag things. I've just been collecting things over time and then that's what I want to take to hospital and another bag. Um, so I can obviously film that for you guys and show you guys what I'm going to take. I've got a little cloud lamp as well which is so cute. Some shelves but I think we're going to order bigger ones because I think these are just too small. But yeah, we're just so happy with the progress so far. A lot of the stuff needs to go in the loft. Like in our in this house, all of the lights are spotlights. So we don't have any, we don't need any light shades. So I think I might just <laughs> message in my family chat asking if anyone wants these because I love them. But they're no use to us because, yeah, we've got spotlights everywhere. But yeah, this is the little update in our twins room. How lovely is that colour as well? I'll pop a link to this colour because I feel like I'm going to get questions on this. Um, I'll pop a link to it in the description box. I think it's from Dulux. I can't remember. I got it on Amazon. Um, but I love it. I just think it's so perfect for their room. The train just left this town while I'm slowly heading back to my apartment I'm not asking for your thoughts I'm just thinking out loud in the darkness Ooh, there's no point So it's now the next day. Um, I've just got dressed, as you can see. I've got on my, I think I showed you guys this in my last video, actually. It's this H&M long sleeve top, and it is maternity. Honestly, it is so comfortable. And I've just got it on with black leggings. I'm gonna put my Uggs on downstairs, and then this little kind of like cardigan cape thing, <laughs> which is like wearing a blanket, and my coach bag. And me and Bradley are about to go to Tesco's. We're gonna do a food shop, which I thought we could show you guys. Um, and then we're also gonna go into Aldi after because apparently they've got really good baby bits. So we kind of wanna have a look. Was that the broom? Yeah, I wanna look in Aldi as well. Apparently they've got a baby event in Tesco's, <laughs> which I mean, I'm intrigued about. Hopefully it's good. So we can pick up some stuff there and obviously show you guys. It's a really nice crisp autumn morning today. So it's just a really nice day. Brady's over here, he made breakfast this morning. I haven't looked at the um, time lapse yet of him making breakfast. I didn't do one video, I done different ones. Yeah, loads of different videos. Yeah. I just gave him the camera <laughs> and I said he needs to practice for when the twins are here because I can't do it by myself. Yeah. So, okay. hopefully, I mean, we've got a couple of months to practice, don't we? Yeah. Um, also, behind here, as you guys can see, um, I've got some Amazon parcels, so I thought when we get back, I can show you guys. So yeah, let's go to Tesco's. Let's go crazy. crazy I like your hair. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> wear the hat. <laughs> really, I think you should just wear it like that. Mm, I think you're being rude. <laughs> looks so good. Breakfast was so nice, by the way, Bradley. So. Oh, it looks like dogs can enjoy it too. Yeah, dogs have some bacon. be breaking your vow I can understand you're tired of this town and I'm not saying that we have to settle down now 
Just remember this We could have been stardust Same world but without us Something made us, made us find each other out there Made us realize we're more than just stardust Ignore this fact if you must To do, do what your dreams are telling you Okay, so we've been to Tesco's and Audi, we picked up loads of nappies in Audi because apparently they're the best nappies, the Audi ones, and also Pampers. So I think, I mean, it's hard to tell until the babies are here and like we try a few, because I know all babies are different, but I think the majority of people said Audi are the best nappies um, and the best price. So we picked up quite a few. We also stopped off at Greg's next door because although we had a bacon and egg, what was it called? Roll. This morning. I'm still hungry. <laughs> so picked up that. Um, and then we're just going to put away the shopping now. And then I can show you guys everything that I got from Amazon. And also the stuff we got in Tesco's and things like that. I did try and film things but it was just really busy. <laughs> so I didn't film a lot. But anyway. Let's pack away all the shopping. So I guess I should have known You said yourself you want to do this alone What if your dreams are making it hard to think straight If you still love me, I can wait, I can wait And remember this We could have been stardust Okay, I wanted to obviously show you guys everything that I picked up from Amazon, Tesco's and to be fair, Aldi, we literally picked up the nappies, which I'll show you guys in a second. Tesco, honestly, they do the cutest baby bits. Today we just picked up these. We've got majority of like the neutral boy range and it's just so cute. Obviously, we do need to get different sizes, so... Um, I think we kind of need to sort through what we've got and the sizes and stuff and then we can like know what other sizes to get. Get three in here for eight pounds and I love the ribbed effect of these little vests which are really cute. I got some Christmas pajamas which I think is so cute and are going to be perfect either if I'm heavily pregnant or if I've had the twins. Like I said you just you don't know with twins like when they're going to come kind of thing but I think these would be good like either or so. Yeah, they are so soft. And then I also picked up this grey cardigan. Now, I've got this one in black in a size medium and it's perfect. But this was kind of like a one-off and it was on the sale for £15. It's a size large, but I thought it was quite nice and oversized. But I wear the black one all the time, so I thought I'd pick up um, this one. And it's just such comfy material. And it washes really nicely as well. So yeah, this was 25 and £15, which I think is so so good from amazon i have a mixture of things um some baby things things for the baby shower i'm going to be making some bits for the baby shower i don't know if you guys want me to show you i was going to film i think i will still film my baby shower vlog um just of the day i'm going to hopefully give the camera to my mum and bradley's mum to like help set up i don't know it's a lot of pressure isn't it so we'll kind of see but i am going to make a couple of things for my baby shower just to give to people just say thank you for coming so i picked up a sage green um food coloring and then also these edible what are they called hundred and thousands like cake ball things which i thought are really good because i'm gonna do like little cookies i've got a stencil a personalized one so i thought i could do cookies i might make some cupcakes and stuff like that just to add <laughs> to the collection of goodies because there is a lot of people coming so yeah i wanted to like just have a little thing to say thank you i picked up eyelashes i always do my own individual lashes and i get questions on it probably on a daily basis i'm not a professional so i'm not gonna film it for you guys i'm really sorry but there is some really good tutorials like on youtube and tiktok and stuff like that of how to apply individual lashes if you guys want to know this is a present for my nephew it's a really cute little wooden pool train thing 
is his first birthday on the weekend. So yeah, we picked him up that. So I won't open that <laughs> because that's for him. From Tesco, we picked up some fragranced nappy bags, which I'm sure we're gonna need a lot of. Um, you get 150 in a packet and we picked up three. Um, yeah, obviously we're gonna need a lot of nappy bags and nappies and all that kind of stuff. And the thing is, we can probably pick it up on our weekly shops and stuff like that, but I think, especially when they're newborn and we're in that bubble and at the beginning when we're trying to get our like routine with parenthood and stuff like that, it's just good to be prepared and have as much of it as possible and then you can like slowly just buy weekly and stuff so yeah <laughs> that's the plan i mean i think it's completely understandable i think everyone's the same really one of those things so we're gonna try and like collect things along the way just to help us or i picked up two fitted cot sheets for their cot obviously we're gonna have the next in my crib but it's just good to have so yeah, I just picked up these ones, which I'm sure again, we're gonna need a lot of. <laughs> we're gonna go through a lot. I've seen really good hacks with like, even next to me cribs and cots and stuff like that, especially if they leak through like during the night, just to put like double on and like layers and stuff like that. And I think puppy pads underneath it, a lot of people are saying really helps. So yeah, if you have any tips of anything like that, please let me know because it'll be very useful. Okay, in this box, okay this is really exciting this is stuff for their nursery um so this is like the mobile stand i got a wooden one because like i said we have obviously got the white plain accessories so the cot the wardrobes and the changing unit and i thought it'd be really nice to have wooden accents because i originally i wanted wooden cots but then I thought, actually, it's quite nice to have it white and then we can add wooden accessories and like prints and frames and loads of stuff like that. And I'm really happy that we've done it this way. This goes on the cot. Maybe we can do it today. Maybe we can do it another time. So it looks like that here, as you guys can see. That is what it's going to look like. Obviously, we've got to. Everything is just times two. These are all linked on my Amazon storefront, by the way. I have a mama-to-be list that I made. So if you guys are interested and you want to know anything that I've got my eye on or that I've bought or anything like that, I just pop it in that list. Um, so many of you have messaged me saying that you've shopped for it already. So yeah, I'll obviously leave that down below for you guys as well. But this is in there. Um, I also picked up these swaddles now this is the first one that i bought i kept seeing it on amazon and i think it was like 9.99 for both of these and they feel really soft and they had amazing reviews i think we're gonna have to buy a few though and kind of see what they like and then we'll know what ones obviously we're gonna wash all their clothes and stuff beforehand so please don't worry it looks like this it's really cute um, and it's just, it's really lovely, like, jersey material as well. It's really soft. So, yeah, I'm not too sure. I've seen loads of different ones. Ones that kind of have, like, the arms up or down. Let me know, like, what your little one preferred. Obviously, every baby's different, but I do want to buy a few just so we kind of know. Because one twin could prefer, like, this one, and then the other twin could prefer another one. You just, you just don't know. So I do need to get quite a few like swaddles and things like that just in case. But yeah, I mean, these are like the generic one, I think. And then in here, this is something that I've had my eye on for months and months. And it's a little bit pricey, <laughs> especially for a changing like basket unit kind of thing. So I really wasn't sure. I was thinking, oh no, it's just too much. What do I like? Is it just silly? I'm not sure. This is obviously to go in their nursery. And I just kept seeing it and I thought, actually, it's really nice. And I think it'll be really nice in the mornings when I'm getting them ready for the day and they're in this changing unit and it's just so cute. So this is actually like a really thick mattress. <laughs> Why is it so hard to open? I don't know. It's very annoying. You can't I'm read it. I'm going to make a joke. No. What is it? A label maker. Oh, I thought you were something fun. That is fun. Um, so yeah, this is their changing unit. Um, obviously, it's a little bit crumpled up <laughs> at the minute, but it's so nice. Thank you. No problemo. Um, it just needs a little bit of like 
flattening out kind of thing. But we can put it upstairs in a minute and I can show you guys what it looks like. Bradley said he measured it online and it said it would fit. Because so I really like the basket ones, but then I was thinking if I'm kind of like bending over, it's, I probably, I don't know, I think it'd be nicer if it's softer um, than having like a hard structured one. So I went for this one instead. I mean, for the price you pay, it's a little bit, okay. I mean, maybe over time <laughs> it will like mold into the actual shape, but you guys get the gist. And then I need to buy obviously covers, changing covers. And again, a lot of you said to put puppy pads like underneath and then put the cover over the top, which is such a good idea because obviously if they leak or anything, it goes onto that. And then you can just take that off, put it in the wash and then put a new sheet on. So yeah, this is the changing unit that we have gone for for the nursery. And then in here, this is something, oh, it also came with this. I think this is like a portable, changing mat as well um, but in here is <laughs> something that i've seen all over like tiktok and reels and things like that and even before i was pregnant i used to watch all of this because i was so excited for like it to be the case where like, i was doing it and this is a label maker um, and you basically connect it to your phone The labels are in here. You connect it to your phone um, via an app. I think it tells you like all the instructions. And then I can make things for the drawers. So like nappies, socks, like anything like that. And it's just a clear way to understand where everything is. And I just thought it's just really lovely. So I'm really excited to have a play around with this, print off loads of labels, stick them in their drawers and stuff like that. I think that'd be really helpful. And also for like, my hospital bag and the baby's hospital bags and stuff like that if i need to label anything because i have which i've shown you guys before i've had i've got the bags um like the plastic ones that kind of zip up at the top that are labeled already which i love by the way i think they're so good i can't wait to fill them um, and they're obviously like labeled in big writing but i think if there's anything else in particular it's just good to have um, I need to go to Primark again because I want to get some more of them like travel size bottles, some like travel bits. I just don't know how long I'm going to be in hospital for because it's obviously quite different with twins. You just, it's one of those things. I'm, I'm struggling a bit because I'm such an organised person that I kind of want to be as prepared as I can and just have everything with me like home comforts and stuff like that. So I'm just trying to make this experience as nice as possible. I got nipple cream. I've heard this one's the best. So let me know if you've had this one or you've heard good things about it because then I might buy some more. But yeah, I've heard good things about this one. Okay, <laughs> Luna's just in her bed. Um, okay, so I also picked up these Pampers Aqua Wipes. Again, I've heard these and the water wipes are the best. So you get 24 packets in here um, and they were on offer. I think they still are, to be honest with you. So I'll pop a link to them down below for you guys. Let me show you what they look like. So yeah, these are the wipes. Aqua water wipes, 99% water, which is so good. And obviously, I mean, with any babies, it's good to be gentle. But especially with smaller babies, you really need to be careful with any kind of chemicals and things like that so yeah we have gone for these ones i mean i think we'll have these and then the original water wipes will kind of mix between we've got these and then in tesco's i picked up two of these these were on offer i think for how much are these bradley what? the mats eight pounds eight pounds and they're so cute it's just gray on one side and then gray clouds but i thought one can live down here in the living room I have a feeling that this area, all here, is going to turn into the baby bit. So I think the caddy will live here, the changing mat will live here, like everything will just be here, I think. So yeah, we kind of need to get some more storage in here, don't we Bradley? Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> I reckon empty one of those drawers. These ones. Because it's going to be good to have yeah. one of those drawers for the baby stuff. Like I could put my Xbox somewhere upstairs in one of my drawers or something so I very rarely go on it. Do you know what I was thinking? You know the drawers, the IKEA yeah, ones that are in the yeah, twins room? Yeah. Should we move the sofa that way a little bit and put it there? 
I'm just trying to think we need or over here I think it'd be good to have them down here because I just think we're gonna need them for more storage anyway that's something Unless we need to yeah I know you love it what but could just put it on this wall I just don't think it'll look right and I love that bit mm. I just think this bit you kind of walk past and the chairs there and obviously the jaws come out even more where else would it go in there below the um fire thingy <laughs> what fire thingy <laughs> the um not the oil tank oh Plug. where the clothes horse is maybe i think because it's the little free drawers it's just going to look a bit odd i reckon even here or and then just put the dog's bowl there we're going to move the dog's bed into the front room. We're going to put it in here. We can put it there and then move that into that corner. So then the sofa's not in the way. I just think it would look silly having two drawers next, like, right next, to each, right next to each other. No, because I'd face them towards this way. Whereas it would look silly if it's like a long... And then you're not going to be able to shut the door. <laughs> Neither can you. <laughs> look. You I think you... Mm, yeah. We'll see. It definitely wouldn't fit long ways. Anyway, this time. is a discussion that we can have another time. No, I can't close it. <laughs> Why are you not closing it? I can't reach it. Anyway, yeah, so this, one of them is going to live downstairs. I think one will live in our bedroom. These are just good <laughs> to have, obviously, and they're easy to wipe. And then these are the nappies that I have. Well, we bought 12, so we literally took two of these. Which is really funny because I was like to Brandy, there's no point putting it in like the basket or anything when we can just hold these. So we've just got two of them, so we've got 12. And they were 10 pounds for 12, which is so good. And you get 24 nappies in one. We're gonna go through these like there's no tomorrow. We know that. So we're just trying to get again as many like as we can. So yeah, that's obviously something that we're gonna go through a lot. Um, and then in here, well not in here. On the table, we've also got some pseudocreme, which is going to go in the nappy caddies. We obviously need to keep stocking up on this because this is helpful. And I want to get organic coconut oil as well. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall, but tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive Car. Lay my troubles to rest. Blow the smoke through my cigarette. City lights looking fine. And I know this is my time now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. Just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive. So, update on the twins room. Bradley kindly put together this lamp, which we got from Ikea. 
Um, and then we've got, I think this is Kallax. It's like a unit thing with one basket at the bottom. We just put this in it for now, but we'll probably put like a cute teddy bear or something in it. So the rocking chair is going to go here. But we're obviously using this section here as a storage. <laughs> so this has got like my hospital bag bits in. Um, and then in here is just loads of like baby grows, um, muslins and stuff like that. Obviously their pram here, um, which we do need to figure out when we're going to put in the car, don't we? What's that? The pram. Try it out. Yeah. Well, don't stay. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Bradley's annoyed because I was like, should we just do bits in the twins' room? He was like, huh? But it's going to be one day, either now or in the next few days, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And he also put up this mirror. We're going to put up some prints, some shelves here, which are going to go there. Um, so, yeah, we need to chuck or get rid of these, um, what are they called, light shades. And then in their cots, we've just got some random bits of bobs that we need to sort out. So, yeah, I mean, it's looking clearer. The out <laughs> in our hallway, this is where all the mess is. So we need to put that in the wheelie bins outside. But it's coming together. From all things at once Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind Hello Hi. Bradley's building this like What's it called? Bookshelf unit That we're going to put on the wall here um, That was from B&M So We've actually made some serious progress in their room. We've done so much that we didn't actually think we'd do. So we put the shelves up. These are, what are they called? Spice shelves or spice racks, I think, from Ikea. They're £4.50 each. But I love the hack where you put one upside down and then this is like a little hook. So you can put clothes and stuff on here, which I thought is so cute. And obviously my favourite is these dressing gowns for them. This plant and the pot is from Ikea as well. So the prints that we've gone for, so I think I've spoken to you guys about this before. I like clouds and like that kind of theme. Bradley likes, what do you like? Like jungle theme. Animals. Animals. So we've compromised and we're kind of doing like a mixture of both. So yeah, these are the prints. They're really high quality. Love them so much. And then we've also got these prints, which I got from Desenio, which I think we're going to put up in the reading corner bit over there, which is going to have like the rocking chair and stuff like that. And the bookcase. We've also put up these. Sorry. Yeah. Can you pass me the screwdriver, please? We've also put up these, which is the wooden mobiles, and they kind of move like this. They're really easy. Um, so obviously they've got one each over there. We've got some prints left over. I feel like <laughs> this area is looking a bit bare. So in the middle, we're having um, a TP tent that Bradley's auntie is getting us. I definitely want to put something on this wall. Not sure yet. Maybe some like words or something like that. I think. Oh, I'm not sure. It's just so hard. We don't obviously have to fill every wall, but I think some walls are going to look a bit more plain, so we'll just see. So yeah, and then I've obviously put the changing unit on, which just needs a little bit of moulding. So yeah, it's just, it's coming together. It's so weird. It just, it feels so exciting and just so much more real now. Okay, and then on top of the drawers and in the drawers, I'm going to film another separate video on this. At the moment, <laughs> it's literally just all the nappies and stuff and then there's wipes in this one um, but I got these drawer organisers from Ikea and um, there's four I'm hoping that's enough so we can organise them together in another video with my label maker which I cannot wait to use and then on top here let me know what you think I should put in because I did have nappies and stuff but I'm thinking if I organise these so I've got like nappies and wipes and then like creams and nappy bags and all that kind of stuff. 
what did you have on the top i mean a lot of people don't have two because we're having twins um we obviously have two like units that came with the cot and the wardrobe and i wanted to use this space as well so yeah i might just organize these um with some like cute little bits and bobs that are easy to just grab but yeah that's the update in the twins room very cute Bradley's building the cute little bookshelf that will go on that wall they never seem to leave my mind Ooh, on this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Somehow made it through without losing sight mm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way 